Let's write a C program to find all the Armstrong numbers between user entered range using functions. If the user enters 370 as the number, which has three digits, three, seven and zero. So we multiply each individual digits three times and add it. So we will get 27 plus 343 plus zero, which is equal to 370 again. So the result as well as the user entered numbers are equal. So 370 is an Armstrong number. If the user enters 8208, which has four digits, 8, 2, 0 and 8. So each individual digit is multiplied eight times and added. So finally, we will get the result as 8208, which is equal to the user entered number. So 8208 is an Armstrong number as well. So important part is we need to calculate the number of digits present in the number. So in this program, user enters start value as well as end value. So we need to find all the Armstrong numbers between these user entered range. So let's get started. So I'll take a couple of integer variables count as for loop counter start and end value. That is the limit and temp. I'll ask the user to enter start and end value. I expect that start value should be less than the end value. If not, we'll just use temporary variable to swap the, num the numbers. Okay. So we'll store start and end value inside the address of variables start and end. If start value is greater than end value, then we will swap the values of start and end using temporary variable. I'll assign end value to start variable and temp value to end variable that swaps the values of start and end. So in any case, start value will be less than the end value. So I'll print a nice message that is I'm strong numbers between percentage D and percentage D R. So the range is present inside variables start and end. So now let's write the for loop. We need to find Armstrong numbers between range start and end. So I'll assign count value to start and this for loop should iterate until count is less than or equal to end. For each iteration of this for loop, I'll increment the value of count by one. So the number is selected and present inside the variable count. So we need to find if the value present inside variable count is an Armstrong number or not. So if the value present inside variable count is equal to the value returned by the function Armstrong. If it's equal, then the value present inside the variable count is an Armstrong number. We need to yet define the function Armstrong. So hold on to it. We will, we will write the prototype and define the function Armstrong shortly. That's it for main method. Now let me write the prototype for Armstrong. So our, our function Armstrong returns floating point variable, sorry, floating point number. So float Armstrong. So the return type is float. It takes a integer variable integer as an argument because count is integer of type integer. Okay. So let me define this function Armstrong float Armstrong. I'll, I'll take local variable as num. So the value present inside count will be copied to the variable num. Num is a local variable for, uh, for our method Armstrong. I'll take couple of integer variables reminder n is equal to zero and temp. I'll assign zero to sum as well. And it's a floating point variable. Now I'll check the number of digits present inside the number. So while temp, which means this while loop iterates until temp is zero. So temp is equal to temp divided by 10. So I'll increment the value of num for each iteration of this while loop. So this way I'll get the number of digits present inside the variable temp, which is nothing but the same value present inside the num. Okay, so we got the number of digits present inside the number. So I'll write another while loop. Here, I will fetch individual digits of that number. So reminder is equal to num modulo division 10, which fetches digits 
individual digits of the number one by one. So num is equal to num divided by 10. So it reduces the num by one digit for each iteration of this while loop. So sum is equal to previous value of sum plus power of reminder comma num sorry n that is the number of digits present in the number so this for example if num is 370 n is 3 because we have three digits 3 7 and 0 okay if the number is 8208 n is 4 because the number has 8 2 0 and 8 so four digits now we return the value present inside sum which is floating point number so if count is equal to the returned uh, value then it's an I'm strong number I'll include math.h library because we are using pow built-in method so let me save this compile and run our program so I'll give 500 and nine 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 five nines so these are the Armstrong numbers between the range looks nice let me try this once again I'll give one and nine 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 oops looks great these are the Armstrong numbers between the range I'll execute it one more time I'll give one and nine ninety nine and these are the Armstrong numbers between 1 and 999. Outputs, all these outputs will be present on our blog. So link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.